What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm bringing you guys another division video. Today's video is going to be focused on the vendor reset that just happened this Friday and I wanted to tell you there are some pretty good items especially if you've been watching my build videos lately. There's a couple items I highly suggest you guys picking up and if you guys haven't picked it up already I have eight items this week and I know it's a lot usually I stick to around five items but I felt that all eight of these items were must buys for a lot of you guys especially you newer players and even for some of you vets who are missing a couple mods here or there these items might be good for you. Remember, I do have time steps in the description. So if you guys want to skip forward to those items that you really need, you can use the timestamps in the description. So let's get into this video because this one might be a little bit longer than usual. So the first item is going to be located at the terminal at the special equipment vendor. And once we get there, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And the item you guys want to pick up is this SR7 suppressor. It has 16% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, 6% headshot damage, and then reduced threat. So it has a silencer on it. This is only 2% off of max. The max ones you can get now are 18% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, and 6% headshot damage. Before you were able to get these, I believe, up to 20%. Now, every now and then, you might get one that has 19%. But remember, that is really, really rare so this one's pretty decent it has a max out critical hit chance it has a max out headshot damage so if you guys don't have one you can run this on your lightweight m4 your urban mdr your sniper rifles your big alejandros pretty much every gun in the game except your smgs so if you guys are looking for a really good sr7 suppressor that has high critical hit damage high critical hit chance and high headshot damage this is a suppressor for you guys so this is going to be my first must buy item of the week the next item is going to be located just next door at the advanced weapon vendor so we're going to head over over to him and I'm going to show you the item that I highly recommend you guys pick up this week. So the next item is gonna be located right here at the advanced weaponry vendor. And the item you wanna pick up is gonna be this lightweight M4. It has 22% enemy armor damage. Remember the max enemy armor damage is 24%, so it's almost a max roll. It has a decent damage roll at 14.1K. And remember, that's with my firearms of only 4,000. Now, you can always fully optimize this once you put the talents you want on there, but it has some pretty decent talents. So it has talented, killing a target with this weapon increases skill power by 15% for 20 seconds. The effect does not stack, kill a new target refreshes a timer it has responsive damages increased by 10 percent when closer than 10 meters to the target and then it has ferocious in the bottom talent which is damage against elite and named enemies is increased by 10 percent now personally i will keep ferocious on there I will keep responsive on there and I most likely would take off talented and then put on destructive and then you have yourself a pretty hard hitting lightweight m4 after that I would take it to the optimization station and fully optimize this. But some of you guys might want to keep talented on there because you want to have that killing a target increases your skill power by 15%, which would work amazing with your electronics builds. Well, you can keep talented on there. You could keep ferocious on there. And then maybe you can put destructive if you can unlock that talent. You just have to find a talent that you're able to unlock with those high electronics builds. But personally, for me, on a lot of my builds, I'll probably run ferocious, responsive, destructive. And then if I'm running electronics build, I would probably keep talented, maybe put competent on there. You can't unlock too many talents with a 10K electronics build, how I run my tactician build and my firecrest build. But having ferocious in the bottom slot, it's always going to be unlocked. And then talented will be unlocked because it has a low firearms requirement. And then competent is the same way. But this is really up to you guys. This is going to cost you 1.6 million i think it's worth it division credits are easy to get i would pick up two of these that way you can mod them two different ways i'm probably going to pick up one of these and put them on my pve build the next item we want to go pick up is going to be located at autumn's hope so we're going to fast travel to that safe house so the item you want to pick up is going to be located right here at this gear vendor. And the item we're going to be looking at today is going to be an electronics mod with skill power. Now this has a almost maxed out roll on electronics and skill power. The electronics mod is rolled at 266 and you guys know that on gold mods 267 is the max out roll you can get on them. And then the major attribute is almost maxed out at 3167 skill power now this would work great with a lot of your electronics builds if you don't want to run skill haste or you don't want to run purple mods with damage to elites now for me when i want my turret to do the most damage on say my firecrest build and i'm not really worried about the damage that my weapon's going to do like the urban mdr i'll stack a higher electronics mod with the higher skill power if i want to be able to put out a lot of damage with my urban mdr and still put out decent damage with my flame turret i'll I'll put on a purple electronics mod with damage to elites because if you stack five of those 
at 4% damage to elites, that's going to give you an additional 20% damage to elites on that build. So that's your Urban MDR doing that, plus that's going to be your Flame Turret doing that. So it's only going to be a little bit difference between the 266 with the skill power and then the damage to elites with the electronics. It just depends on what you guys want to go with. I'm telling you, I would just still pick these up if you have those electronics mods with damage to elites. That way you can test out for yourself since these are almost maxed out. They're at 266 and then the skill power is 3,167. It's going to cost you 168,000 division credits and then it's located at Autumn's Hope Safe House. The next item we're going to be looking at is going to be located at the safe house at Camp Clinton. So we're going to fast travel there. Now the item you want to pick up is going to be located right back here at this special equipment vendor. And the item that we want to pick up, we're going to scroll down and it's going to be this extended magazine. It has 120% magazine size, 4% critical hit damage and 4.5 reload speed. Now I personally run this on my M700 and my custom M44. I think this is great for dead eye builds because you don't need to stack critical hit chance and you don't need rate of fire on a sniper rifle. If you stack critical hit damage and then you have that reload speed so when you're out of ammo you can reload your sniper rifle a lot faster. This is a very good pickup. It's almost max rolled. I would pick this up. It's only going to cost you 192 phoenix credits and if you guys have been grinding the global event 192 phoenix credit isn't a lot a lot of you guys should be stocked up on phoenix credits i would pick up at least one of these put it on your m700 or your custom m44 and then pair this up with that dead eye build that you got from this last global event this is located at the camp clinton safe house so head over here and pick this one up the next item that we're going to be looking at is actually going to be located across the map at the firewall and we're going to fast travel there and the item you want to pick up is going to be located right back here at this gear vendor. And if I was you guys, I would pick this up because the last time it came out was probably like three or four weeks ago. And it's a maxed out ballistic shield damage resilience. I run this on my PVE and my PVP builds. I haven't released to you guys my PVP shield build. But on my PVE shield build that I released to you guys, I'm running the same exact mod for them. That's an additional 20% ballistic shield damage resilience. And I feel like this is the best mod you should put on there versus those ballistic shield health mods. Put these ballistic shield damage resilient mods on there they're key for keeping your shield from breaking down faster having that additional 20 percent ballistic shield damage on these mods will put you at 45 percent damage resistance it's only going to cost you 168,000. i recently just picked up four of these and put them on my pvp shield build because i was missing them and then i have four of these stacked on my pve build if you guys are looking for these they're going to be located at the firewall the next item we're looking at is going to be just south of here and it's going to be located at the south paul safe house so we're going to fast travel there the item you want to pick up is going to be located right here at this gear vendor. And the item is going to be a performance mod. It's a 4% sticky bomb damage performance mod, which is maxed out. You can't get any higher percentage on sticky ball damage. I run this on my tactician build. I run four of these. That's going to give you an additional 16% sticky bomb damage. These are only going to cost you 168,000. These are maxed out. These are another must buy guys. Remember all of these items that I'm showing you, I personally run and I will always only show you items that I put on my builds. I don't show you items that that I don't personally run because I feel that if I don't run them, I don't think you should run them. The next item is going to be located at the DZ. For that one, we have to head to DZ West 46th Street. So once we get there, I'll show you exactly what item it is. So let's fast travel to DZ West 46th Street checkpoint. So the item you want to pick up is going to be located right here at the dark zone vendor. Now this is going to cost you dark zone credits. So if you don't have that, you might need to grind it a little, but I would highly recommend you guys picking these up. If you watch my shield build, I was running these same mods, but mine were only like 260, 261. Now I'm able to pick these up. They're 267 with our max roll. And then they have the 3% skill haste. I personally run skill haste on a lot of my shield builds and I switch back and forth between skill haste and critical hit chance, just depending on how I want my build to be. But a lot of times I like having that skill haste because I can get my skills back faster and then your shield will always be up but say if you want to have a booster shot more often or if you want to have a sticky bomb more often having that skill haste will let you get that back a lot faster so you can spam those items even if you're running some type of pulse this is great to have skill haste they're going to cost you 21,000 dark zone credits so if you don't have those you need to head into the dark zone but pick these up you have till next Friday to pick them up and if you want to follow my build guide for my d3 build these are the mods that I, I would pick up for that and the last item of the night is is going to be located at the DZ safe house at DZ9. So as soon as we get there, we'll talk about the last and final item that is on this must buy of this week's vendor reset.
So the item you want to pick up is going to be located right here at this Dark Zone Weapon Mod Vendor. And the mod you want to pick up is going to be this Tyrant and Suppressor. This is going to be a 7% critical hit chance, 4% critical hit damage, and 6% headshot damage. Now the maxed out roll you could get on a Tyrant and Suppressor is 7.5 critical hit chance versus the 7%. And then the critical hit damage is maxed out at 4%. And then the headshot damage is maxed out at 6%. So this is almost a god roll Tyrant Suppressor for a lot of you guys that want to get that extra 4% critical hit chance on your build versus stacking more critical hit damage this is the mod for you guys this is going to fit on all your smgs and also your pistols so this will fit on the house the mp5 mp7 all of those great smgs it will fit on so it just depends if you want to stack more critical hit chance or if you want to stack more critical hit damage now i'm going to leave that up to you guys you guys know i do like running a loud vent break with higher critical hit damage if you don't have one of these i would pick them up and put them in your stash test it out see what you like better if you like running the loud then break over the tyrant suppressor it's only going to cost you 24,000 dark zone credits so buying one of these isn't an issue for most of you guys pick it up and then let me know what you guys think so that's pretty much it guys that is this week's vendor reset must buys there were eight of them really 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 good buys that i think most of you guys should pick up if you guys don't have them remember if you guys still enjoy these videos hit the thumbs up if you guys want me to keep making vendor reset videos let me know in the comment section i will continue to make these as long as you guys still want them but if you guys don't want them anymore i'm going to continue making other videos because i have a long list of videos that i need to put out so making these vendor reset videos is really just up to you guys and how much you guys want them i want to thank you guys again for all the support remember if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're watching one of my videos hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up and if you have any questions on any of the mods i talked about let me know in the comment section and if i missed anything put it down below maybe somebody in our community will like to know what that mod is or what that weapon is that you picked up that you thought was beneficial to you and it might be beneficial to them so thank you guys again for all the support remember if you don't see me in last stand if you don't see me in the dark zone if you don't see me in skirmish it's only a matter of time nothing but skills is out